Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Reynolds with Bored, Better Off Reading Every Day. Today's book is DuckTales, Webby Saves the Day. Webby Saves the Day. Donald Duck was away on a trip. Huey, Dewey, and Louie went to stay with their uncle Scrooge McDuck. A few days after Donald left, the boys wrote to him a long letter. The boys wrote, Dear Uncle Donald, we hope you are having a fun trip. As soon as we said goodbye to you, our adventures began. The letter told how Scrooge's helicopter had nearly landed on them all at the dock. The pilot was Launchpad McDuck, of course. He picked up Scrooge and the boys. Soon they were on their way to Scrooge's mansion in Duckburg. Launchpad was, a, was good at flying helicopters. But he was not so good at landing them. Look out, yelled Scrooge. You're going to the la you're going to land on my house. Don't worry, Mick don't worry, Mr. McD, said Launchpad. I don't land on houses. Launchpad was right. He didn't land on a house, but he did land on Scrooge's fountain. Huey, Dewey, and Louie looked around. They were worried. What will it be like here? The boys wondered. The mansion looked more like a prison than a home. Remember, boys, said Scrooge, no touching, no playing, no running, no anything while you are here. This is my butler, Duckworth. He will see to it that you have, that you behave properly. Oh no, the boys thought, this place is like a prison. Duckworth gave the boys their suitcases. Then the boys went up to their room. The boys unpacked their toys. This place isn't too bad, said Louie. There's lots of room to play games. The next few days were not easy for poor Duckworth. He was used to serving tea. He was not used to keeping up with three playful boys. One day, Duckworth went to see Scrooge. It is not my job to look after boys, sir, said Duckworth. All right, Duckworth, said Scrooge. Scrooge picked up the telephone. Scrooge called a job agency. Send me a babysitter right away. She must be used to handling wild boys. Scrooge hung up and said, don't worry, Duckworth, help is on the way. The next day, Mrs. Beakley arrived. Her young niece was with her. My name is Webby, said the little girl. Do you want to play? I have my jump rope with me. Jump rope, yelled the boys. Jump rope is girl's game. Huey, Dewey, and Louie were wild boys, but no wilder than most little boys. Mrs. Beakley had no trouble with them. Mrs. Beakley soon had the boys neat, clean, and behaving like perfect gentlemen. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, there lived three bad characters who were not gentlemen. They were burglars called the Beagle Boys. I'm hungry, said one Beagle Boy. What's for lunch? Nothing, said another. We have no food. We have no money either, said the third.
What are we waiting for, said the leader. It's time we visited the mansion of Scrooge McDuck, and we should do it when he's not home. The Beagle Boys got their tools. They climbed into their car. Nothing made the Beagle Boys happier than taking things that did not belong to them. The Beagle Boys parked their car near Scrooge's mansion. Then they hid behind some bushes. Look, the leader whispered, Scrooge and his butler are leaving. As soon as they're gone, the coast will be clear. Mm, it's getting juicy. The burglars chuckled as the limousine drove away. They did not know the five new ducks had just moved in with Scrooge. The burglars forced open a window. Come on, said the leader. Scrooge will be gone all day. We can fill the car with McDuck money bags. If we had a truck, we could take everything in the house, said his friend. Upstairs, Webby was in the boys' room. Are you going to listen to music all day? Why don't we play, Webby said. We'd rather listen to music, said Huey. We can't hear you. Go away. It's always the same, though, Webby, thought Webby. They won't play with me because I'm a girl. Suddenly, Webby heard a strange noise. It sounded like heavy footsteps. The noise scared Webby. She hid behind an old suit of armor. The footsteps got louder and louder. They came closer and closer. Webby saw three shadows coming up the stairs. Oh no, thought Webby. That's not Scrooge or Duckworth. Who can it be? Webby ran back to the boys' room. There are strangers in the house, Webby said. We can't hear you, said the boys. As Webby came out into the hall, she saw the Beagle Boys leaving. Webby thought, Aunt Beakley is outside and can't help. The boys can't hear and won't help. I'll just have to stop these burglars all by myself. Webby got Louie's skateboard and marbles. She rolled them at the burglar's feet. The Beagle Boys didn't see the marbles and skateboards rolling towards them. Before they knew it, they stepped right on the toys. Yeep! Yowie! Yowie! yelled the Beagle Boys. Their feet slipped out from under them. All their burgl burglars crashed into the floor. All three burglars. The suit of armor fell on top of them. That will teach you. That will teach you guys, said Webby. Webby quickly tied up the Beagle Boys and her jump rope. The boys' music was loud, but the noise in the hall was louder. Huey, Dewey, and Louie ran out of their room. Gosh, shouted Dewey. Webby caught the Beagle Boys. Just then, Scrooge came home. Mrs. Beakley was waiting for him. Scrooge saw a big mess and said, Have those bad boys been making trouble again? No, Mr. McDuck, said Mrs. Beakley. These good boys saved your house from burglars. No, said Huey. Webby did it all by herself. She outsmarted those crooks. Well done, Webby, said Scrooge. The police took the Beagle Boys away. The burglars were very embarrassed. They had caught, they had been caught by a little girl. You're not so bad, Webby, said Huey. How about playing with us, asked Dewey. How could, <clears throat> we could go roller skating, said Louie. Maybe, said Webby, and then we can play with my jump rope. The end, boys and girls, of Webby Saves the Day by the DuckTales. Boys and girls, I chose this book because when I was growing up, I absolutely loved DuckTales. It was one of my favorite 
favorite, favorite cartoons to watch on television. I love the series. I love the pilot because he was always crashing. And I love the boys, Huey, Louie, and Dewey. And I loved Mr. McDuck. But what I really, really always enjoyed was the fact that because my first name is Debbie, the kids used to tease me and call me Webby. And also because Webby loves to jump rope and you know I jump rope every single day. So that was kind of my nickname back in the day, Webby, because both Webby and I love to jump rope. I can't really save the day like she did, but we have the same kind of name. And that's one of the reasons why I love this story so much because it really took me back in my memory to back in the days when I was little and watching cartoons just like you. So boys and girls, I wanted to share this with you because these cartoons aren't really out anymore. We don't really see a lot about um, DuckTales, but they have a really catchy little song if you ever get to play it. It's like DuckTales, woo, DuckTales, woo, something like that. It's really, really cute. Um, it has a really, really nice little rhyme that goes that goes with it. You should check it out and have mom or dad or whoever you're with play it for you. I think you will really like it. And see if you can catch up on the series in some way. Um, it is Miss Reynolds with Board, Better Off Reading Every Day. And it has been my pleasure to bring this DuckTales to you. I hope you enjoyed it. Here are my ducks here. And I got my helicopter right there. You can see it. And it's just one of those things where you just getting in the helicopter, going to visit family, trying to stay out of trouble, and next thing you know, you're solving crime. Good old, Web good old Webby from DuckTales. So boys and girls, I will see you soon. It has been my pleasure to bring DuckTales, woo! Every single time I DuckTales, woo! I'll see you soon, bye.